right when the Sean started and then while you were talking. Awesome. Did, okay. What, uh, we'll let Jesus speak. Yep. Go ahead, Melissa. Did Sean hear? Yeah, go ahead, Melissa. You go first with your message and then we'll go to Sean. Yeah, we always put Jesus first. Always. He said, give them these words now. My child, you do not need to fear. Today will be a day of tremendous revelation. Come to me throughout this video for words. I am going to reveal more as time passes. Seek me today, my child. Do as you are asked and I will deliver. I said, okay, Lord, is there anything else you want us to know now? My child, you are mine and I am yours. You are going to deliver words as I give them to you. Just trust and rest. I said, okay, Lord, is there anything else? Go forth and proclaim my name to all nations. Tell them of my great love for them. Tell them I am coming and I will not delay any longer. The time of my coming is here. I love you, Melissa. I said, I love you, Lord. My child, tell them to deliver. Oh, that was, I don't know what that, that was a math thing I put in the message. And then this was while Mandy was talking. Listen, daughter, tell them to begin to follow me now. I am at the door. I am so close now. People wake up now. Come to me now. Fear me now. The day has dawned. The day has arrived. I love you so much. You are my children. How must I call how must I call you to me so you will listen? How must I cry out for you? Listen, daughter, give them these words. Proclaim my name to the nations. I am Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yeshua HaMashiach. I am the savior of the world. I am he. Proclaim my name, Melissa. Tell them I am the Lord and their creator, God. I am coming. I am coming. I am coming. I love you. I desire your hearts. I desire you to come home to my love and my forgiveness. Do not dismiss these words, children. Sing to me songs of deliverance. Get down on your knees and repent. Cry out to me. Seek me. And then he gave me just a handful of scriptures, not as many as you. Um, Ephesians 2.13. Do you want me to look them up, Mandy? Yep, I got it. Um, but now you have been united with Christ Jesus once you were far away from God, but now you have been brought near to him through the blood of Christ. Galatians 4, 8. Before you Gentiles knew God, you were slaves to so-called gods that do not even exist. Song of Solomon 2.16. My lover is mine and I am his. He browses among the lilies before the dawn. Oh, sorry, 216. My lover is mine and I am his. He browses among the lilies. What, what was the next part? Before the dawn breezes blow and the night shadows flee, return to me, my love, like a gazelle or a young stag on the rugged mountains. And then he gave me um, three 214s in a, in a row. That was interesting. Isaiah 214 through 22. Okay. 214. Sometimes Which I feel like, sometimes I feel like it gives you scriptures just to the test to see if you're gonna say everything. <laughs> <laughs> so you can scoff and mock about the women teaching thing, but I I know God always does things to test obedience. Just said that oh. he's the he's the husband and we're the women. Yes, and that's true too. See, people get that verse wrong. They think that it's man and woman, but God, Jesus is our husband. We're his bride. So we are supposed to submit to Jesus. But okay. Um, he will, you said 14 through 22. He will level all the high mountains and all the lofty hills. He will break down every high tower and every fortified wall. 
He will destroy all the great trading ships and every magnificent vessel. Human pride will be humbled and human arrogance will be brought down. Only the Lord will be exalted on that day of judgment. Idols will completely disappear. When the Lord rises to shake the earth, his enemies will crawl into coals in the ground. They will hide in caves in the rock from the terror of the Lord and the glory of his majesty. On that day of judgment, they will abandon the gold and silver idols. They made themselves to worship. They will leave their gods to rodent and bat while they crawl away into caverns and hide among the jagged rocks in the cliffs. They will try to escape the terror of the Lord and the glory of his majesty as he rises to shake the earth. Don't put your trust in mere humans. They are as frail as breath. What good are they? Lamentations 2.14 and 2.14 2, reduces to 1.7, right? Um, is he saying that? <laughs> Go ahead. Lamentations 2.14. Your, um, okay. Your prophets have said so many foolish things, false to the core. They did not save you from exile by pointing out your sins. Instead, they painted false pictures, filling you with false hope. He's talking about the prophets out there speaking, not in his name, telling you that you're not saved by faith and grace. Second and, Corinthians. Oh, go ahead. And that you're going to have to face the great tribulation because you are not if you believe in Jesus. Okay, go ahead. And this is the last one. Second Corinthians 2.14. But thank God he has made us his captives and continues to lead us along in Christ's triumphal procession. Now he uses us to spread the knowledge of Christ everywhere like a sweet perfume. Wow, that was beautiful, Jesus. All right, that's all. Okay.